Alright, here we go. Nitric acid versus a penny. Classic experiment in chemistry. We're gonna have it completely submerged as you can see there. And the fuming begins already. Yay! There's nitrogen dioxide gas. Mm, it's baby. toxic. But it's denser than air, as you can see, because it stays in the beaker. Don't read that inside. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it, dude. It's... Go away. <laughs> That's so cool. Unfortunately, um, as cool as this stuff looks, you can't play with it very much, because <laughs> yeah. exact exact reason, Gabe. <laughs> it smells pretty good, actually, <coughs> until it burns your lungs. It burns because it's sort of like a light vinegar, and then a really, really strong vinegar. It burns because it reacts with the water in here in your mouth and throats to produce nitric acid. This is why you always wear gas masks, kids. <laughs> At the bottom you can actually see the reaction taking place better. <laughs> nitric acid. <laughs> Don't smell it. <laughs> Now the penny has been reduced to a chunk of pretty much just zinc, and that's reacting with nitric acid in this jello green solution. Unfortunately, which is now my favorite word apparently, um, the reaction isn't as volatile or uh, nearly as uh, colorful as it was a few minutes ago. It's nice to see the metallic color of the zinc, because normally we just see the copper color of the penny. Yeah. But now you know, there definitely is zinc inside of pennies. The more you know. <coughs>